Right, a warm welcome for this uh, discovery day of the uh, root cause analysis, which is part of the Movement for Immunization Agenda 2030 Immunization Collaborative. Wa warm welcome to all of our Nigerian colleagues who are joining uh, today. We have a busy agenda, but I would like to start with five keys to success. And as usual, I'm going to ask uh, uh, Charlotte, uh, of these five keys to success, if you're on your phone, uh, please look down and look at your screen so you can see what the five keys to success in the collaborative's first exercise is. And I'm going to ask Charlotte, uh, which of these five would she say is most important uh, to uh, for participants who are joining the collaborative, especially those who have never experienced uh, a, a peer learning exercise like this one? Whether all five keys seem to be equally important to me, but I think the fit one do not suffice in silence. It's really, really important because uh, usually there are many participants who will be facing a challenge and they feel that the actual, uh, their difficulty is too insignificant for them to share. So please, if you are facing any challenge, do not suffer in silence. We are here to help you. All right, wonderful. Thank you, Charlotte. All right. And just a point of order, uh, you'll see that there will, we'll share a link toward the end of the session. And this is to submit your post-session feedback, and it has to be done today by midnight. This is a requirement for certification. We'll ask you a few questions. It's a very short uh, survey. It takes just a few minutes to answer, but it is quite important for you to complete that. We will share the link to access this uh uh, this uh, this feedback uh, report uh, during the uh, the session. So we, we encourage you to uh, to stay so you don't miss the link. Of course, if you have connectivity problems, you can always reach out to us. As uh, Charlotte said, do not su suffer in silence. Now, a reminder before we go any further of our commitments to each other. And first and foremost is the code of conduct. Uh, will be yes, uh, violation of the code of conduct can result in removal from the entire collaborative loss of certification, including previous certifications earned and notification of your employer. So each of you, when you applied for the collaborative, actually made this uh, commitment to respecting and honoring the code of conduct. Your commitment as a health professional, a number of principles in line with the recommendations of the World Health Organization. And again, we ask you to make this commitment for your health, for the health of your colleagues, and for all those that you are called to serve. Now, third and uh, but certainly not the least, I'd like to ask Ndaio Iwat. Uh, okay, he. Let me see if he is here. Who is one of our elders uh, in the global community of scholars of the Geneva Learning Foundation? Uh, Ndaio Iwat. I hope you are there, and I hope that you will be able to tell uh, the assembly here for the assemble for the collaborative uh, for the first time to work together and learn together. Um, what is the pledge that scholars are asked to make? Ndaio Iwat, are you there? All right, it looks like, unfortunately, Ndayu is not able to answer right now. If there are other uh, scholars in the room, um, I know that Fanny, I could see that Fanny Ogu was having troubles uh, with her c connectivity. Fanny, are you able to tell us what is the scholar yes. pledge? Yes, Fanny, please go ahead. All right, it looks like we are, yeah, and again, you are going to have to speak throughout the session, so please make sure that your connectivity is good enough for you to be able to use your microphone and for people to hear you. You can also use the chat, uh, but the Scholar Pledge is the commitment that participants who join a program like this one, the peer learning program, make to each other. So in this segment, we have... Uh, 26 minutes and before we get started i'm going to uh, with the uh, with the group work going to recap everything that you need to know in order to uh, survive and thrive to succeed in this exercise so here we go so first of all a reminder of the immediate benefits and you can see some of the benefits here to gain practical skills to learn from your peers to get feedback on your ideas from more experienced colleagues and to develop critical thinking skills. Now remember also that your participation doesn't just benefit you and that there are also long-term career impacts that you could gain from this. There's also real-world impact, which is that as we progress beyond this initial exercise, the, the goal is to develop 
actionable solutions, things that you can actually do and carry out yourself uh, with the resources that you have available. So this collaborative is an investment in your professional growth and in the health of Nigerian children. And it is your active engagement that's going to determine how much you and your community benefit from this experience.